What's up good people, Christian Allaire here from Christian Allaire Yoga, welcome to my YouTube channel. So before we get started on today's video, I just want to talk to you really quick about FNX Rebalance. This is a super green formula, it's raw ingredients, it's five blends of super greens, it's vegan, it is farm to table, it's locally sourced, it's an American product and it's really, really good. So this is the strawberry dragon fruit blend, which is what I love, right? So before I do a yoga class, or I teach a uh, yoga class, or I shoot a video, a little scoop, stir it up into some water, your beverage of choice, and boom, you suck it down, slurp it down, it's really, really good. And so it's providing me a lot of energy, a lot of health, a lot of benefits. In the link below, you can buy the product um, linked into my YouTube page, right? You get a discount there, helps me out, helps you out, it's all good. Great product, check it out. What's up good people, Christian Allaire here from Christian Allaire Yoga. Welcome to my living room in Huntington Beach and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today, uh, the emphasis is going to be on strength and stretch, strengthening and stretching. So maybe a couple challenging poses for you, uh, and I'm really excited to, to bring this to you. Um, one of the other things I just wanted to mention is, is uh, you want to behave in the way that you want to manifest. So be the person that you want to be by behaving in that way. So if you find yourself wanting to back off a pose for no good reason, then stay in the flow, stay in the fire, and lean into it. And then as always, especially in the times that we're living, uh, to be humble and to be kind and to be gracious. And these are not attributes that are weak. They are not weakness at all. You're simply being humble and kind. And with that, let's get after it. We're gonna meet in child's pose. Bringing the body to the floor, to the mat. We center up our practice by doing a little bit of breathing and a little grounding practice here. So let the big toes to touch, let the knees be wide and the belly soft between the thighs. Send the arms out in front of you. Place the forehead or the chin on the mat and start the Ujjayi style breathing. Start to bring a little intentionality to the practice. Any outside influences or things in your surrounding environment that might be distracting, acknowledge them and then start to draw inward. Okay, yogis, let's come up onto tabletop pose. Hands and knees, knees and chins, wrists and shoulders. Take a breath in, look up towards the ceiling. And hollow out, pull in through spine. Let's round it out, chin, chest. Round it out, chin, chest, and change. Inhale, look up, breathe in. Exhale, round, hollow. Inhale, belly softens, chin lifts, tailbone lifts. And pulling through center line core, really round, push the floor away, tops of the feet. And one more set, let's take cow facing, breathe in. Cat pose, pull it in, center line. Okay, curl the toes, cover the knees two inches off the floor. So you're really still pushing the floor away here, fingers gripping the mat. And now I want you to take and come up onto your left fingertips, right? So you're still bearing weight into the left fingertips, right? But you're still pushing the floor away. Keep the knees hovering two inches. Change hands. Left palm comes down. Now we rise up on the right fingertips. Keep that core pulled in. Really plug into the fingertips. Try not to bear more of the weight into the left hand. Try to keep some of that weight distributed evenly through both fingers on both hands. Okay, place the palm of the hand back down onto the floor. Downward dog, hips up to the sky. Pulling through core and then start to pedal out. 
working through the foundation. Of course, the foundation of your pose is what is planted on the mat. So in this case, it's two feet, two hands, and then we want to also increase a little bit of belly strength here by pulling belly to spine. Now, once again, I want you to come up on your fingertips, right? Working on your strength and flexibility. On the fingertips, you're back in dog pose here, still using the fingertips. Wrap the triceps towards one another. Of course, you haven't lost focus on the belly to spine, have you? Awesome work. Place the palms of the hands back down onto the floor. Then three times, we're gonna bring the forearms down. It's dolphin, and then we press it back up. One, forearms down. Tap the forearms, elbows, and then press it back up. Let's do that one more time. Forearms down. And then re-straighten the arms. You're back in dog pose. Let's take ragdoll at the back edge of the mat. Hands to the feet. Feet. Heel bones in line with actual butt bones. Grab your elbows. Drop your head. Backs of the hands to the floor, roll up to mountain pose. Back edge of the mat, roll up to mountain pose. Send the arms up above the head. From your feet, up through the shins, up through the fingertips. Reach up, breathe in. Yogi bow, Uttanasana forward fold. Hands to the shins, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold, walk it out, top of the plank. Okay, from the top of the plank, shoulders stacked over wrists. Okay, I want you to now come up on your left fingertips, so your right hand is now taking some weight. I want you to take your right foot off the floor, two inches. Okay, try to keep it even, Steven. And now with your left hand, reach it towards your left hip. Release, left hand down, right toes down. Come up on the right fingertips, keep that weight as even as you can. Left toes hover, two inches. Two inches is two inches. Now we take the right hand, reach it towards the right hip. Release right hand down, left toes down. Take a full breath in, lower down. Bhujangasana, cobra pose, untuck the toes, lift the heart. Chin to the chest, fold. Bhujangasana, lift up. Child's pose, knees wide. Forehead or chin to the mat, relax. Downward facing dog, let's take the hips up to the sky. Super work, super work. Three breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Third round, in breath, empty out. Okay, let's either float or walk to the top of the mat. When you get there, get the feet nice and close in, take a halfway lift, long spine, breathe in. Exhale, fold, breath out. Rise up to mountain pose. Stick the arms up above the head, reach. Now, bring the hands to the heart center. I want you to come up onto your toe mounds. So the heels are lifting up off the floor, off the floor, off the floor. And then very slowly, I mean as slow as you can stand it, you start to bend the knees and we're sinking down. We're sinking our butt towards the floor. Knees are nice and tight. Keep the knees nice and tight. Now hover your butt just off the heels, and we're gonna twist. Right hand to the left knee, you're gonna turn to the left. You continue to push into the balls of the feet, continue to pull the knees in close, and we'll come back to the center. Now hands are at the heart center, you're slowly gonna stand up, keeping the knees nice and tight, push into the balls of the feet. Now when you get to mountain pose, plug the heels back down, reach the arms up. Big breath in. Hands to the heart, breath out. 
Rise to the toe mounds, lifting up. Really contract your calf muscles, quadriceps, and we bend the knees and start to sink down. Squeeze in, squeeze in, squeeze in. Back is flat, shoulders over butt. When the butt gets right over the heels, continue to lift the chest, flat spine, and we twist. Left hand to right knee, turn open. Okay, let's bring it back to center, palm to palm. One more time, we stand it up, take your time. Squeeze the knees in, strengthen, strengthen, strengthen. When you get back to mountain pose, plug the heels down, sweep the arms up, big breath in. Yogi bow, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, top of a plank, step it back. Okay, from here, I want you to take your right toes about two inches off the floor, and then you want to hook your right toes to the back of the left Achilles tendon, and come back to down dog, and as you do, plug your left heel into the floor using your right toes. Release the right leg to the sky, open up your hip. So you're in three-legged split here, stacking right hip over left, squaring the shoulders, pushing the floor away, use your fingertips. Okay, re-extend the right leg, draw the knee to the nose, suck it in deep, step forward, set the left knee down. Let's take the arms up, big breath. Exhale, hands to the floor, shift back, half splits, fold. Dip back into the right leg. Curl the left toes, send your right foot back, low plank this time. Upward dog, breathing in. Downward dog, exhale. Top of a plank, inhale. You're gonna take your left toes, hover it, hook the left toes to the right Achilles tendon here, belly to spine. Slowly come back to down dog, using your left toes to plug the right heel down. Three-legged split, left leg up. Open the left hip. Knee to the nose, suck it in deep. Breathe in, step it through. Left foot, right knee sets. Take the arms up. Big breath, in. Exhale the hands to the floor, shift the booty back, fold over the left leg. Okay, let's bend back into the left leg. Send your left foot back, low plank. Low plank. Inhale to upward dog. Down dog, beautiful work, empty it out. Inhale to the toes. Bend the knees, look forward, float it up. Halfway lift. Bow in, yogis. Rise up, yogis. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Now, I just want you to take your right knee off the floor, interlace your fingertips two inches below the right knee, and hug it in to the chest. Just see if you can find a little bit of balance here. Just hug it in. Set the right foot back down. We're going to do the other side. So left knee lifts up off the mat, balancing on the right foot. Find that balance point, interlace two inches below the left knee. And really pull it in, center on. Okay, left foot comes back down to the floor. Send the arms up for mountain pose. Inhale, bow forward, yogis, breathe out. Halfway lift, let's float it back, chaturanga. Take it upward dog, and we move to downward facing dog, breathe out. Now we'll do one standard O oh, sun salute. Let's come to the toes, rise. Want to make sure you're nice and warmed up. Bend and float. Half lift. Bow in. Chair pose, sit down, squeeze in center line. Get ready to stand in three, two, one. Stand it up for a back bend. Up and back, go up, go back, legs straight, firm in the core. Bow in, yogis, breath out. Inhale at the bottom, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Plank. 
right toes hover, come up on your left fingertips. Mm -hmm. Okay, now hook your right toes to the back of the left Achilles tendon. Come to downward facing dog, lifting both hands, palms off the floor. So now you're on your fingertips. Three-legged dog, right leg opens up, right leg to the sky, open it up. Okay, re-extend the right leg, knee to the chest. You're on your fingertips, suck it in. Step through with the right foot, set the left knee down. Keep your left toes tucked underneath. Send the arms up. Okay, bring your arms out to the side. Make fists if you like. You can even roll it out a little bit if you need to. And we're gonna slowly shift your butt back and fold over the right leg. Now modification, if this is really challenging, and it should be, it should be, you can always set your hands down. This is my stronger side because of my hip replacement surgery. When we go to the other side, there's really tough stuff, right? But I don't shy away from the tough stuff, and neither should you. Okay, we're gonna fly it into warrior three. Bending back into the right leg, come off the back foot, warrior three. You could do fighter jet style with the arms behind or the traditional warrior three, arms forward. Okay, want you to bend into the right knee. We're gonna go back to that same position. So you softly land the left knee down and you shift your butt back and you're folding over the right leg. Warrior three, dip back into the right. Coming off the back foot, warrior three. Okay, now pay attention guys, pay attention yogis. Gonna slowly stand it up with the left knee coming into the chest. Super job. Now, take the hands alongside the body with the palms facing up. Take it into a back bend. Slowly set the left foot down to meet the right. Circle the arms above the head and fold in. Halfway lift, breathe in. Chaturanga, float it back. Inhale to upward dog. Coming down dog, empty out. Plank pose. Okay, let's take the left toes, hook it onto the Achilles of the right. Now you're gonna come up on the right fingertips. Really firm up both legs, pull the core into the spine, push the floor away as evenly as you can. Now coming back to down dog, you come up on the left fingertips as well. So both hands are being used on the floor with just fingertips. Three-legged split, left leg lifts up, open up the hip, you're still on the fingertips. Re-extend the left leg, knee to the nose, round and dome, suck it in deep, step through. Right knee sets down, and now from here, we come up, bring our hands out into the fists, and we slowly shift it back. Now remember the modification is to use the hands, do not hyperextend through the left leg, Scissor in center line, keep the chest along midline so you can help the balance point. Now the right toe should be curled underneath here. In three, we're gonna fly it into warrior three. Three, two, coming off the back leg, and we come up warrior three. Fighter jet style, or arms forward. Okay, we begin to bend the left knee like a lot, and we come back down. Set the right knee down, keep the right toes tucked, and then we shift the hips back, fold. Okay, team, shifting forward, come off the back leg, warrior three.
Okay, good, good, good people. Let's slowly stand it up. Bring the right knee into the chest. Right knee into the chest. From here, hands come alongside the body, palms facing up, elbows are right alongside the hips. Take it into a back bend. Keep lifting up into the stern with the chin. Very slowly, right foot sets down, circle the arms up and back and forward fold. Drop in, halfway lift, breathe in. Chaturanga, float. Inhale to upward dog. Exhale, down dog, beautiful stuff. Just take your right foot forward next to your right thumb, runner's lunge. Now from here, straighten out your right leg. We're gonna proserita fold, so walk your hands to the left, toes in, heels out. Halfway lift, hands underneath the shoulders, butt back, crown forward, fold. Now pay attention, yogis. I know you're in a forward fold. It's probably hard to see your screen. I want you to bring the weight into the heels and lift your toes. Then we're gonna to pivot towards the back of the mat, and you're in that long stance fold over the left leg. Back to Prasarita. You're gonna turn, so now the toes are turning to the right and they're parallel. Hands underneath the shoulders. Inhale. Fold. Rock the weight into the heels, lifting the toes off the floor, and then pivot on the heels and we'll fold over the right leg in that long, awkward kind of stance. Okay, bring your hands to the inside of the right foot. Yogi squat, left foot comes to the outside of the room. Come into that nice squat. Elbows into the knees. Palms to touch. You do have the option of taking your hands up and then dipping your left knee down, okay? That might not be accessible for some. I would be included in that. But the right knee would come down and you pivot. Some are going to be designed to handle, others not so much. Okay, coming out of yogi squat, we're gonna move to crow pose. Set the fingertips onto the mat, point the toes to 12 o'clock, knees into the backs of the arms. Let's do this. Get ready to shoot back in three, two, Chaturanga, upward dog, downward dog, empty out. Send the left foot forward next to your left thumb. Here you are in a runner's lunge type of situation. Same deal. Straighten the left leg and then we're going to pivot to Prasarita. So now you're pivoting to the right. Fold. Halfway lift. and then pivot towards the back of the mat. Now you're in the long stance, folding over the right leg. In this fold, keep in mind that alignment-wise, you want your right heel in line with your right butt bone, and the right big toe mount pressing down towards the floor. So the outer edge, you will have a tendency to roll the outer edge of the foot. That's normal, you wanna to try to counteract that. Okay, we're gonna to move to Prasarita again. So walk your feet to the left through center. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Up onto the heels, and we pivot towards the other side. So now you're at the top of the mat with the left foot. Right foot's way back there, and you're folding. Okay, it would be helpful to take the left hand to the inside of your left leg and then come into yogi squat. Here we are again, dropping into the squat. Your hands to heart center. And we're now gonna move into the twist. So we'll take the right hand down, send the left arm up.
change sides. Left hand comes down, right arm lifts up. Hands to the heart center at the center. Hands to the floor, lift the hips. Toe heel your feet together. Roll up to mountain pose. Send the arms up above the head. Reach. Hands to the heart center, out breath. Okay, we'll take tree pose. We will begin by taking the right foot. And it's a curl. You wanna bring the right heel towards the left hip. Bring it up. And then with your right hand, use the hand to press the knee down and to the right. Take the right hand to the heart center. And release. Right foot comes down, left foot lifts up. Left heel is high to the right hip point as is manageable in your body. Left hand to the knee, assist the knee down and forward. Left hand to the heart center. Release, left foot to the floor, arms to the sky, big breath in, reach up, yogi bow forward, halfway lift, inhale, exhale, chaturanga, inhale to upward dog, exhale to down face dog, breathe out, knees to the floor for child's pose, send the hips back, Forehead or chin down. Okay, yogis, let's come to tabletop. Once you get into tabletop, cross your ankles and then roll onto your butt. Rolling onto the butt, come onto your back. Take the feet up to the sky, feet up to the sky. Interlace two inches below, excuse me, interlace the fingers behind your skull with the feet up, flexing the toes to the face. We pulse the chest up, working into our core. Let's do this 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more, adding the hip lift. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Knees to chest. Squeeze. Feet to the sky. Hands alongside the hips with the palms facing down. Hover your feet down halfway, 50%. Lift the shoulders. I forgot to say lift the head. Do that too. Okay, let's come down, hover two inches off the mat. Keep the chest and shoulders lifting, flex the toes towards the face. Scissor kick the feet towards the sky. Here we go, back up. When you get to the top, relax the shoulders and the head, reflex the toes towards the face. Halfway down, hover, flex, toes, lift the chest. Two inches, hover heels off the floor, lift chin, lift chest, lift shoulders. Scissor kick back to the sky, keep belly to spine. When you get to the top, relax and reflex the toes. One more set, yogis, heels hover 50%, lift it up, belly to spine. Stay in your body and stay in your breath. You got this. Heels two inches, hover. Keep lifting up through the chin, shoulders, belly to spine. 
scissor kick to the top. When you get there, knees to the chest, hug in. Beautiful work. Nicely done. Okay, grab the backs of the knees, start to rock and roll back and forth. Just do that a couple times and then move into the boat pose. So once you get to the boat pose, we want to keep the shins parallel. Straighten the legs here. Peace sign, fingers to the big toes. Let's do this. Stretch the feet up. Keep lifting the chin up, balancing on the tailbone, and then straddle, pull the feet apart. Keep the chin lifting. Pull the feet apart, keep the chin lifting. Mm -hmm. Okay, coming back to the center, back to the center. Release the fingers from the toes, set the hands behind you. Hover the heels two inches off the floor, drop your chest back. This is low boat pose supported by the hands. We'll come up and do 10 of these. So let's come up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, set the soles of the feet down with the knees bent, reverse tabletop, press the hips up, drop the head back, reverse tabletop, hips up, head back, push through the feet, push through the hands. And release the tailbone back down. Okay, we're gonna do Janu Shirshasana. Let's send the right leg out in front. Flex the toes, arms inhale, turn to the right, fold. And I want you to interlace the fingers on the other sides of your soles of the feet if you can, and then bend your knees so the forehead comes to the knee. Forehead to knee, forehead to knee. Release. Other side. Left leg extends. Inhale, arms. Exhale, turn left. Forehead to knee. Beautiful work. Release, yogis. Send the right foot out. Now it's going to be the full double legged flesh, flesh, arm, arm, fold, fold, drop in. Bashimota. Bashimota Masana. Bring both feet apart for wide angle. Wide angle seated forward. Fold. Feet as wide as you can. Flex the toes towards the kneecaps. Toes facing upward. Externally rotate the thighs. And bring the hands back in order to balloon the chest up to the sky. Lift. And then walk the hands out in front. So if you don't want to walk the hands out in front, that works well. I like that. I also like to bring my hands to my own feet in order to keep them peeling apart. And then you ride the breath. Inhale, lengthen, and fold. Inhale, lengthen, and fold. Inhale, lengthen, and fold. Release. Seated twist. Left ankle comes in. Let's make sure you have enough space to get the right butt cheek to the mat to the best of your ability. Right leg is over. Send the left arm up. Bring the right hand behind you. 
frame the spine, turn to the right. Release. Okay, we'll go to the other side. Unwind. This time the right ankle's coming in, left leg coming up and over. Make space for the left hip to come down to the floor. Send the right arm up. And left hand comes behind you, twist. And release. Coming out. Gonna ask you to make your way onto your back for happy baby. You're on your back now. We take the outsides of the feet. Opening up the hips a little more. So we didn't do pigeon today. And that's okay. Use this as a nice little hip opener. I love the pigeon so much and we do it just about every single class. Not today. There's always tomorrow. Release. Eagle, right leg over the left. So it's like a you know, cross-legged, eagle style. I want you to let your hip go to the right and drop the knees to the left. Feels so good, I almost don't even want to leave. Time is not our friend, we must move on. Bring the knees back up to the center. Unwind the right leg, center the hips back up. Sweep the left leg over, eagle style. High up under the thighs you can. Now hips dump to the left a little bit, and then let the knees go to the right. Coming back up, recenter the hips, unwind the left leg. And we come into Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet to touch, butterfly the knees apart, hand to the belly, hand to the heart. Feel the rise and the fall. So the breathing area just above the pelvis, right where the belly button is, feel that rise. And then into the rib cage in the solar plexus, just below the bra line, breathing area number two, feel it rise. And then above the bra line, right up towards the clavicles, breathing area number three. And then you reverse out of it, from the clavicles to the solar plexus, to the belly button. And that's how you breathe in a three-part, deep rhythmic way.
gently bring your hands to the outsides of your legs, to the thighs. Pull the knees into the center. And then draw it into the chest, both knees. And making your way up to a seated position. Bringing the palms and the hands together. As we say, thumbs to heart. Heart to thumbs. And dip the chin. Okay, we'll take three deep, nice breaths together to round out our practice. So take a deep inhale, begin that now. Inhale. Hold. And then exhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Super work today. Thank you so very much. Om Shanti, Om Peace. Thank you so very much for checking in today. The higher self in me honors the higher self in you. Please open up your eyes. Namaste to all you folks, all you yogis and yoginis out there in YouTube land. Thank you so much for checking in on today's video. If you like what you saw, if you like the practice, please share the videos, hit the like button, leave me some comments, subscribe, please. It really helps me stay inspired driving these practices to the greater um, reaches of our society that really need it. And with questions, send me a note. Be, uh, be happy to um, assist you in any way I can. Thank you so very much. Have a great day.